Hey Capricorn, this is Alex, and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot reading. Hope you're doing amazing, Cappy. Hope all is going well. Well, yeah. Uh, hey, Queen of Cups, the love of your life, the object of your emotional desires. She just kindly just flipped herself on over. Um, judgment, making a decision. Um, to resurrect or leave alone. Mm, okay, we got wands, Cap. Uh, let me push back and make sure no cards are on the table. Uh, on the floor, I mean. And we are good to go. You have Aries and Scorpio. Mm, angels just said you're in your feelings. You're feeling very lovable and loved. Um, oh, or you're trying to figure, you're trying to get that loving feeling back. Uh, you're trying to make a decision on whether or not you want to continue to love somebody. Um, this person could have been inconsistent, you know, kind of abandoning, you know, one minute they're there and one minute they're not. And I don't mean physically, right? In other words, somebody could physically be around you and still not be there, right? And I feel like for a lot of you guys, um, you're trying to find maybe a different approach, trying to say, for instance, rekindle and respark your lovers, the love in your relationship is what I just heard. I hear somebody saying, yeah, Alex, I need your help on how to get my person back into this. Well, let's see what the cards say. Yeah, you're working on loving your person. Um, you got to be more loving and lovable. Um, you're basically going to have to kind of, quote unquote, wait them out. Oh, come on, Capricorn. Scorpio. Sagittarius, Aries, and Scorpio. So you got some pretty, you know, you got wands here. Excuse me, you got the two fastest knights right and I feel like for a lot of you guys you're doing everything possible to this feels like a familiar reading you're doing everything possible to love this person um, you're paying attention to things that they say and things that she needs and you're so tender towards her and you're caring for her you're you're you you care for her at, in such a very detailed way, right? And I also kind of feel like you committed to doing this. Angels just said, but, but for how long, right? Because I feel like you are, um, this is what you vowed to do. I just heard, this is what you vowed to do. This is what you committed to do. But for some reason, things are still coming together and whomever it is that you're dealing with, Capricorn, could be you, right? But you could be dealing with an Aries, Aries Leo or Sagittarius. Um, they're a little skittish. You know, they're kind of a little in and out. They're a little inconsistent. They're a little non-committal. You're fully committed. You're fully engaged. But your person feels like they're, they're going back and forth. There's some sort of void. You think everything is great, you know, house, kids, car, family, everything is good. But for some reason, your person is feeling, and this could be you too, Cap, something's missing, right? Joy, happiness, you know, family, friends, like we're not happy. We look happy, you know, on Facebook and Instagram, but deep down inside, there's a void here. I'm also hearing that somebody's tired of faking it right um two of wands and then the eight of swords yeah this is a familiar reading for you capricorn um past reading in other words you're 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 this person's actions are leading you to believe it's you're you're always on the defensive right you're always Nervous and scared. This is like walking on eggshells because you don't know if they're coming or they're, or they're going. I mean, the Knight of Wands is right there. Not only that, but I also kind of feel like for some of you guys, and this is for very few, 
this is almost like you're waiting for them to cheat on you, right? You're wondering, this person could have done it in the past, right? Resurrection, right? As in, we broke up and got back together and, you know, everything is going good now. I'm trying to do my part. I'm trying to show love, I'm trying to be there for my person, right? But to an extent, I feel like for a lot of you, excuse me, some of you, it's only a matter of time before they kind of quote unquote dip out, right? And this person cheats, by the way, because of this void, because they, they feel, oh, this is weird. I just heard they feel not enough. They don't feel like they're enough or they don't have enough, right? Um, and you know, there's nothing you can do, right? Page of Wands with the death card, I mean, I'm sorry, Capricorn, but I just feel like for a lot of you guys, you know this is going to eventually come to an end, right? But it may come to an end and you guys may start it back over again. Um, I heard somebody said, no, if this ends, I'm just going to walk away, right? But this also says that too, whereas, you know, it ends, but there's that re-spark, regeneration. Um, I also feel like this is an indication, right? Like you're here waiting for your person to basically, like they dip in, they dip out. They're here, they're there. They're here, they're there. It's almost like you're like, okay, one day they're not going to come back. It's like, I feel like this here, you guys just don't expect this person to be all in. Or maybe this is you, Capricorn. You're just not all in to this relationship, right? And this, again, familiar reading. You're not getting everything you want and need. Although on the surface, it looks like you are. Mind, body, and spirit. That's my Holy Trinity card. Everything's going great. You have the woman that you want. You know, for a lot of you guys, Capricorn, you're a workaholic, right? You may be putting your work in front of your Queen of Cups. But you may be doing that strategically because, again, you're fearful that she's going to dip out. Don't pay attention to gender. Could be male or female, right? And I feel like for some reason, I don't know if some of you guys said this to yourselves, but it's like, yo, if she does it again, if he does it again, I'm out. No matter what they try to do to re-spark it or, or, you know, to... Um... Wow. Whatever they do to try to get it back together... I just heard too, I've heard the page of wands is also referred to as a liar, right? And it just hit me that for a lot of you guys, yeah, I hate this for you, um, Capricorn, but for a lot of you guys, again, this wand energy, you can see it happening. It's, you can see it, say, for instance, coming together. And what I also feel like, again, familiar reading, your, your person cheats when they're out of town or when they supposedly go out of town or maybe Capricorn this is you and you're cheating when you go out of town I'm sorry guys I feel like you know you already know what's happening for a lot of you guys you could have just turned you could have completely gotten turned off because you already caught them in the lie right mm, this is crazy you already caught them in the lie or perhaps Capricorn your person caught you in the lie and it's just like, yeah, this ain't going nowhere. But again, I feel like there's great love here. Oh, Angel just said no. You could be dealing or your person could be dealing with somebody that they work with. Wow, I didn't see this one going this way. But anyway, I'm going to pull one of my Universe Has Your Back Oracle cards for you, Capricorn. When I lean on certainty and faith, I change my mind about the world I see. I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is your gut and your intuition. Basically kind of guiding you or leading you towards information. What I'm also getting here with the judgment card, you know, that's a decision. Um... I know I mentioned that, you know, somebody committed to loving this queen. Like, that's what they said they would do. They would take a vow. But um, sitting here, definitely next to the um, Knight of Wands, somebody, again, is just not fulfilling their promise. When I lean on certainty and faith, I change my mind about the world and the world I see. Um, mm, sorry, I don't feel like I don't feel that card. I feel like, again, that certainty and faith is you know what's going on here. 
right? You know what's going on here. And again, I also need to say too that although I refer to this reading as your person doing this, this could also be your energy as well, Capricorn. Okay? So guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here if you're interested in a personal reading. My contact details are below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Love you, Cap. Bye.